Yes, I'm doing a Sunday night stream. Um, been holding off doing a bunch of stuff because uh, I want to capture it on our layout. And that's the side quest, which I apparently I picked up and decided not to do. Sorry. Uh, but we're going to do them. There looks like there are four. One is the a call to aid where you are to meet with Chandras and Lillian. I'm going to wait for that one. Um, Konzu's query. Which I'm going to do right now. Uh, the Dryad Garden. I speak with Eldris Creek Ward in the Rootbound Sanctuary. Earlier there's a situation of concern. A garden cared for by my kit. The Dryads have suffered from growing pains in its mutual level of campus. So that's just helping out some Dryads. And then Sleepy Search. Which is... Uh, a bunch of group druids got separated, so yeah, it, it, they're, it involves druids and sleep. I've done all these quests before in another character. Um, I just want to check and make sure they weren't bugged out. <laughs> making mistakes before. Um, as I said, I do wish that I had waited for the pickup of them. But we're going to start with the Konzo Query. Konzo Query. Ah. The Kanzo query. And that it is Scenarius that gives you this, I believe. Um, approach Kanzo again and ask what they've been up to. So this is I had already started on this one, obviously. Find Kanzu's nest. Find Kanzu's nest, which is where we are now. Champion, I understand we are we were unable to convince Kanzu to join us. However, we need all the aid we can gather. You must discover why they refuse to aid us and convince them of the right path. Kanzu and I have rather have a rather strained relationship. Your efforts will bear more fruit. I hear Kanzu has built a nest near Shiver Snap Grove. Will you go and approach them? So we're going to approach Kanzu, who isn't here yet. But there, some moonkin. Ah, you see Punto, do you? <laughs> um. Just taking a look at all these antlered owl, cool looking things, um, which Kanzu looks like. But Moonkin. Kanzu said a visitor would come bearing offerings, I hope. Now, it does come up. Um, aside from you being a druid and being able to talk that can turn into a Moonkin, normally Moonkin don't talk. Uh, outside of the dream. So you're, you don't really get to talk to Moonkin. I think there may be a few limited instances where there are a few that do talk, but for the most part they just kind of run around and be Moonkin. So anyway. You seek an audience with Kanzu qualification. Uh, you seek an audience with Kanzu, but bring no offerings? One does not. Just walk up and speak to the lower of change, afraid. You must first prove you are worthy of their time. The friends of Konzu have been granted 100 questions by the lower himself. You must prove your wit and answer each of them true. Return to me if you answer all 100. Then perhaps you will, you will earn an audience. Answer Konzu's 100 questions. Friends of Kanzu, a new one! A new one wishes to answer the questions! It's a whole bunch of. Kanzu! Kanzu! Okay. Um, so. Yeah, and um, you could ask them questions. If you get one wrong, you don't have to start over, I don't think. But I, I do know how this turns out. But I'm not going to give any spoilers because. You'll see. My secrets are sought by many, but all eventually find me. What am I? That is incorrect. Fate. Mm hmm yes. So that's one. Only 99 more to go. I carry in and out. In nature, I unfurl an encase. I am consistent. 
I am predictable, but I evoke confusion. What am I? But a spiral. Ooh, smart one. That's correct. Right. Ooh. <laughs> I can mean everything or nothing. I am a statue and place alike. I am fleeting by nature, but here I I am held still. What am I? A dream. A dream. That's correct. Yes, yes. Yes, right. Ooh, ooh, well done. Let's start another one. Who is responsible for the Wildkin's creation? Elun. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's enough. This is taking far too long. Are you really going to answer all 100? What do you want? I'll comment after this. Things are not what they seem. You are actually going to answer a hundred questions? Soon that would make you go away. Next time I'll raise it to a thousand questions. Wait until you see what happens next. Kanzu's perception. You have many questions, I have many worries. Such pressing worries. An interloper, a rude disruptor of a joyous day. Now I worry so. If only someone would confront this trespasser. Wait, you could do it for me. It's a win-win. You go confront the trespasser and I'll answer your questions. I've tracked them down to a cave in the north. Surely you can handle them. Find and confront at the interloper in Kanzu's nest. They do not belong. They do not belong. You've been frightfully predictable. <laughs> so just, I, I did, I did laugh quite a bit with the, uh, were you really going to answer on the question? I'm like, have you seen me grind for shit in this game? I can assure you, I would definitely answer a hundred questions. But I think there was a quest where you had to answer the holiday one. You only have to answer one, like it's a daily, but I could swear there's one where you had to answer a bunch correct in a row. I can't remember what it is, but it's not like it's not unheard of. Anyway, let's go find this interloper. It's like a cave right down here. I thought it was here. That's not a cave. <laughs> That's just... Oh, it's like on the edge here. Okay. I'm not doing like I haven't done this already. <laughs> well, now that has been established, I feel we're on the same page. Cut back to my nest. I'm being laughed at by a bunch of moonkin. Creature. Oh, come now. That was funny. You look so cross. It's getting lost is the best way to find things. Comes this destruction. Truly, your questions are important to me. Alas, I am simply too distracted. These podlings, nasty little ones. I'm sure you've seen them. They're encroaching upon my nest and just a total nuisance, bothering myself and my friends. The nerve. Here's my feather. Why don't you go change these nuisances into something less bothersome? We can, we can eight podlings and use Konzo's fairy feather to change them into fairy dragons. This, by the way, is also a daily, and I did it earlier, and I wish I kind of had not, because I'm going to have done them both at the same time. But anyway. Goodbye, and hello, as always. 
I really like Hanzu. Um, Hanzu is is very much I mean, Loa, yes, and later on you get to find out more about Hanzu. Uh, not much, but enough to why he refers himself themselves, excuse me, as a Loa. But they are very much like, not unlike a trickster dog. Which, I'm not saying the, uh, I'm not saying that, uh, the Emerald Dream is the Feywild in the Delor. They do share similarities. So, Having beings in the um, Emerald Dream that are kind of fit that sort of. I mean, like the Feywild it stems from also folklore about fairies in the fairy realm and. So all kind of falls into the same sort of thing. Right. I like that. Hongtu doesn't refer to themselves as a wild god, while the others are referring to them as a wild god. First of themselves as a loa. So. You know, which acts makes one wonder how many of the uh, Loa, all, I mean, are they the only Loa that is also goofed in with Wild Gods? I mean, we look at one like Hakar and it's Possible Prokar is the, the flying serpent, right? Um, could also be considered a wild god. Not, they're not necessarily benevolent. We learned that in um, in Kata in Mount Majel. So a lot of them are just neutral. Um, there is Aviana, who makes an appearance in here. Um, who's a harpy. And she is very aggressive. Um. I keep trying to get these treasures, but I can never quite. Some of them just really hard to see where they are. There's a lot of branches and stuff in different levels of things. I don't want to spend too much time doing that kind of thing, but I thought maybe this one would be easier, but no. We'll go back to the Music is amazing. I know lots of people play and like they never have sound on. They just play music or their own thing. I, I, I like to have the sound off. Okay, so we go. All these okay, dream kids. All right, dream. Oh, is this your dream or mine? 
you again. You did what? Oh, yes, that, that's fine. Getting lost is the best way to find things. Ah, that's much better. Now I can think. What do you want again? Oh, yes, questions. Ask away if you must. Get answers about Konzu. Now you have a choice. Wait until you you see have a lot of questions. Next. You only get to pick one. <laughs> um, the last time I did this, I picked Do You Know Bonsandi. But we're gonna we're our Leia now, so she wouldn't ask that. Are you always this annoying? Okay, let's read them all. How old are you? Where have you been? Why do you call yourself a Loa? Have you been in the dream this whole time? What do you have the power to change? So what is the deal with all the dream, kid? Do you know Bonsamdi? Are you always this annoying? Are you actually going to answer? Are you just going to... Let's give Arlea the last one. Are you actually going to answer? Are you just going Goodbye. to... Goodbye, and hello, as always. You see, the problem is that I've already lived my life. Such, I find recounting these things quite redundant, repetitive, boring. You actually care to know so much about my life. Why don't you ask the others, the wild gods, I mean? I'm sure they have plenty of stories about me. Are you supposed to be here? Go on, then. I've said enough. You've been frightfully um, predictable. He says the same thing no matter what you ask. So they will always, th that's the response you get, regardless of any of those questions you respond with. That's what you get. So we're going to now, before we head back to the answer, uh, you know what? We will do these one by one. We'll keep them in order rather than me trying to do four at once. Like I did the last time. I was like, what am I doing now? Which, which quest line? I'm going to stick to one at a time. Now I have... I'm moving two other characters into position. My goal is I'm going to try to get one of each armor type through um, to the main quest line. And at least one of them hasn't done hardly any other quest lines in this expansion. <laughs> but I have to work on that. Go scenarios. Welcome to the dream chapter. Honzo told me to ask other people about their story. As expected. I should not have expected them to make anything easy. I can think of a few folk who might know more about Kanzu and Kanzu's past. I believe Kanzu has some history with Aviana. Perhaps she may be able to shed some light. Isera would also certainly have such to say much there but also have much to say but she's quite busy Asina however is close to me so perhaps she knows something a denizen of the dream would be my final suggestion a dryad perhaps so dryad Asina and Aviana were looking for I was hoping and maybe we still will um, there's the giant turtle that you meet in Mount Hedgehog. I, I kind of like them. I'm so, maybe, maybe they'll come back for this. So, we're going to... They're scattered about. But they're easy enough to find. Aviana's the you know, only one that's a little bit tricky because she's up on a branch. There she is. I reborn! What do you require, mortal? Do you know anything about Konzu? Don't get me started on that good-for-nothing owl. Refusing our call to assist against the druids of the flame is not the first time they have shown cowardice in the face of evil. They claim that their domain requires them to stay out of such conflicts, but I find it convenient how their choices always lead to their own comfort. Surely they're up to their own tricks again. I'm still trying to figure out who allowed them back into the dream. I do not wish to speak about Gonzo any longer. Be gone from me, Walter. So, all you found out was she's pissed off. 
And then at some point, they were kicked out of the dream and, let, and then let back in. So that's curious. All right. Here. Oh, Asina. Asina is a, a nature spirit. <laughs> Basically, it looks like a wisp. <laughs> yes, Rogue. Do you know anything about Kansu? Kanzu? Ah, yes. Ysera is quite familiar with that one. As familiar as one can be with such a creature. I'm afraid I know little for certain, but I believe Kanzu has always been in the dream. There were once rumors that they dug their way out. The false trust. They can change many things, but they cannot change the nature of these things. Um, I still don't feel like I know much. That's because, and then over here, I believe, is a yes. There's three dryads. Um, and you can speak to any one of them. It doesn't matter. Life is all around us. But you only get to speak to one, so I don't know. Pick the one you like Wonder best. You I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this one that's a little bit more, slightly more red. Dream beneath the trees. Do you know anything about Kanzu? Find your own trail. Gossiping dryad. Kanzu, the wild god. Of course, the wild god. Do you know any other Kanzu? I heard they demand. They're demanding to be called a lower these days. That's so like them. Could never settle. Weren't they impressed by you, Sarah? No, no. I heard they were spending time hidden among the mortals. Perhaps that's where they picked up Loa. I wonder what else they picked up. Yeah. So, according to these dryads, um, they didn't seem to always call themselves Loa. Looks like they may have been hiding out with mortals and not necessarily imprisoned and escaped by digging out. So, yeah, uncertainty about, uh, Oh, they're hanging out here. Sorry, slight detour. I didn't realize these two were just ch hanging out here chilling. These are Varanoth's claws. Claws of Varanoth. You need me? I'm just following up with them. As one of the two remaining claws, I dedicate my life to Varanoth. What are you going to do now? I will remain by Varanoth's side. And only two claws yet live. It is my duty to serve the Incarnate. I am thankful that I do not have to serve alone. And do not forget, Alea. We could not have done this without you. But there's still much work to be done. Fly low. Stay sharp. Talon's ready. <laughs> I like Bree. As a member of the Clubs of Viranoth, my loyalty lies with her. What is your relation to Viranoth? Renoth had a squadron consisted mostly of her trusted primal dragons. This, this, they had this option for. There were four of us: me, Suska, Lethka, and Taro. Originally, it was purely a tactical decision. A general who knows their soldiers well can better apply their talents. But beneath her cold exterior, I know she cares for us more than she lets on. She came back, didn't she? Fly high, stay free. What are you going to do now? I am a claw of Varanoth, am I not? I am going to stay. Where Varanoth goes, Buri is sure to follow. And that is a promise. It will not be the same without Taro, Lethka. Lethka. But we gained a powerful ally. More than an ally, a friend. We will meet again, Alea. I'm sure of it. Are you talking about me? Take Aww. flight. I like you too. Um, interesting, just going to comment on the, the design of these two proto-drakes, and that, of course, they, they need to be unique, because they're now named proto-drakes, and even though you've been killing a ton of proto-drakes as expansion, and now you have two that, you know, can talk to you, and, but notice their snoots. Their snoots are more rounded. And I mean that's a design choice. Their their teeth are not as 
huge as you've seen under the protodrakes. And their snoots are smaller and they're rounded. There's a reason for that. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming it's a conscious decision or what have you. But they're meant to look friendlier. Um, even though your own Proto Drake mount. Let me just check something. Well, I have. I had the renewed Proto Drake, um, which is the Razigan model. But you'll see if. Uh, let me see if I have a different Proto Drake model. I don't think so. This is actually a pretty good example. It's an old model. It's a Frost um, Proto Drake. It's a Wrath of Lich King Classic, but it was in the uh, promotional. Nah, maybe that's, that's just not fair. In a way, these aren't too different than me drawing point. Is they're pointier, they're toothier, and that they're like, yeah, this is just a standard model. Ah, uh, I, I'm not gonna go to uh, the uh, transformation thing and show you what the Proto Drake model is for this right now, but they give them a more approachable appearance for giant winged lizards. <laughs> um. Their horn, he has no horns. Gori has no horns. He has ears, which again adds to a more friendly appearance. Her horns, while sharp, all of her spikes are facing backwards. So there's nothing aggressive facing forward. So just, a, just I don't know. I find it interesting when design choices is made that way, but I noticed the second that like flew through, I'm like, well, you're different looking than other proto drakes we've encountered. Um, I don't know, maybe let all fly over to the uh, waking shores of this. Plenty of proto drakes that you meet very early out and get start slaughtering. Um, to see the changes in design, that you know these are meant to be their their friends. You now have proto drake friends. <laughs> um. So okay, that side side little sidetrack. Let's get back on track. We are going to... Where are we going? Rumor, share with scenario. So go back to scenarios. Tell scenarios of the rumors you heard. Well then, those can't all possibly be true. Return to Kansu. See if they... See if... They'll see if they'll at the very least confirm or deny what you heard. Okay, so now we gotta try to talk to Kansu again. Kansu doesn't want to talk to me. Kansu thinks I'm boring. See, my goal is to get all these these side quests done, and that leaves only world quests and the new main quests when they pop up on Tuesday. But I want to get these done tonight. I meant to get started earlier, but then I got distracted. <sighs> so Kanzu's not here. What is here is a single feather. Kanzu and their followers have gone. This must be the answer they deemed you deserved. For now, at least. And what do you get? Um, you get some dream quests. You get well-planned dreaming quests. Caress. Plump dream seed. Those are always useful. And... Tangled yarn of secrets. Grants the perfect amount of reputation with the dream wardens. Um, I believe... Let me open up this. Okay. So... Earlier in the chest that you get the first one, you get uh, Kansu's Consolation Prize, the, the questions, and um, it awards you one reputation with the Dream Wardens. Um, this is what I just got, grants a perfect amount of reputation with the Dream Wardens. I don't know how much this one gives you, but this is one of those things I'd want to hold on to just because it's funny, but I'm going to save this video, so... That will be my reward. So Kanzu's uh, 
Let's get our one reputation. Just got one one reputation. How much does this award me? Ninety-eight. <laughs> Wait, Tangled Yarn of Secrets grants grants the perfect amount of reputation. With Wait, did it just? It's Tangled. Twenty. Oh my gosh. One eighteen. Inside of Kunzu. Grants the best amount of reputation with the Dream Wardens. Who needs material possessions when you've witnessed Kunzu? Okay. So after you untangle it a few times and get a few chunks of, of reputation, you get this. When you click that, you get 765. And that's the last one you could do. I really like Gonzu. Um, there's nothing else we can do with single feather. So, for now, that seems to be it. Um, we're going to move on. I'm not going to go to Animal Frenzy right now. But we're going to go move on to... We're going to move on to the Dryad. Is this the Dryad Garden? Let's put some more points in. I did download the add-on. It came recommended from a few folks. Um, plumber? As in one who fixes pipes. Uh, and it just gives better data on... It helps better track the seeds. I'll show you in a second once I, I land over here. Oh, they just won the diet at Gordon just missing. What? I bet I've counted them all twice. I must have left chat. I'll read that in a second. What? But I've counted all of them twice. I must have lost track when that Blade hind rammed into me. Blade hind rammed into me. I'll just creak ward. So I'll take care of it. They're my responsibility. I just need a free moment to search. I think it's a uh, millerine petal shade. Yes. One of the dra dryad acorns is missing. Ishnu Allah. Ishnu Dadieb. Aside from helping the garden acclimate to the roots of the world tree, the dryads are having a hard few uh, here. The dryads here have a few tasks for me thus far. Ethidris sighs and looks across the garden until today. Okay, they, so the dryads have few tasks for him today, except today, up until now. Um, so we have the dryad garden. Uh, grousing garden, pine tree panic. We're gonna turn this Goddess, one first. Watch over you. Sonaris himself sent you? Wonderful. We need the help. We must find that dryad acorn. May the stars guide you. So, grousing garden. Alone light your path. The sanctuary has been overrun. The roots of the world tree have grown alongside this garden, but it seems wildlife have grown uncomfortable with the change. Please help them get their restless energy. Get out their restless energy. Perhaps tired out, he will relax in this space again. Take out eight wildlife in the rootbound sanctuary. Be careful. Pine tree panic. Good luck, friend. With the garden in such disarray, the pine trees here are hoarding seeds, important seeds, seeds we've spent a lot of time caring for and teaching. Seeds? Teaching? For and teaching, okay. A gentle shake will release the seeds properly. Please hurry before they run off with many more. Shake out 20 pine tree seeds in the root found sanctuary. Till next week. You have to see a dream acorn in your pine tree tops. Don't let it get wet at all. We don't have time for that. Walk gently on the earth. We caretakers of this grove have many tasks for you, Rose. Should you survive? Millerine tilts her head and smiles. 
What exactly is a dryad? I should know that. We are the descendants of Cenarius. We share his connection to nature and the dream. We watch over gardens like this and ensure life persists by any means necessary. Are you a plant or a mammal? We are dryads. We are not central, if that's what you're wondering. Do you need a task? I can give you a task. We have plenty of spears and need sharpening. Rest until you awaken. What brings you here? So that's all we have there. Let's Goddess see. Any? Watch over you. I don't think there's any. No more things to ask. Okay, so our task is to tire out wildlife and shake some shake shake. Is that right? Fine. It's tiring out wildlife. Uh, seems a little bit cruel, but all right. Okay, you don't have to kill them. You just have to heat them up a little bit. In my case, stab them a bit. I don't like this little lay heart is is killable. It makes me sad. It's just over there prancing around, and they want me to do violence to it. So I'm trying to not hurt it. Do I have to worry about that? Did I accidentally kill it? I accidentally killed it, didn't I? Okay. Nope, I didn't. I don't want to hurt it. It's too cute. Look at it. It's too cute. So I want to just be careful and not accidentally hit it. So... So you basically have to find these little like little bark mice things. You click on them and you'll spin them around. Standard, uh, really, your standard quest pair, basically. Like, don't, don't steal my quest. That's really not cool. Sinu was wondering if kill stealing was alive and well. Yes, it is. I mean, we shared credit for some of those, but you don't share credit for this. So don't, don't, don't take all my my little spinny guys. Come into my grove, I order. It is gorgeous. This patch is gorgeous. I mean, this, this is ridiculous. I'm too distracted by how pretty it is. Yeah, they they said your sometimes your herbs run out. Oh wait, oh I could have I could have pruned them again. I mean, but that's. Like I said, it's the equivalent of the Feywild, so picking flowers is not as straightforward as it's been. I don't actually have to do this anymore, but... In fact, on that note, I am going to stealth about. Try to see if I can find more of the... More of the spinny rats. I, mean, I think they're shrews, but spinny shrews. Yeah, let's call them spinny shrews. They're not rats. I like not that I have anything against rats. Rats, I like rats. 
They are highly intelligent creatures. I've had pet rats. Two, no less. They're very friendly. They just have this terrible reputation because, you know, they are often found in locations that are trying to survive, you know? So, you know, yeah, they're, they're gonna be in your garbage and they're gonna be in your subways. But you know who makes the stuff that the rats eat? People. People are the ones who are poor. People. <laughs> the rats only benefit from hum humanity's sloppiness. Okay, so. Hello, are you my druid? You don't look like a creek ward. Well, you're my guardian now. I never liked the druid creek ward toys. Anyway, it's too dreary. So, what just happened was after you finished with the spinny shoes, um, it looks like one ends up here in the water. And we were told if there's an acorn, it shouldn't get in the water because, well, nobody needs that. <laughs> and now it looks like um, I have a dryad friend. We're about to find out more what that means. Alea, is that a newborn dryad? Do not tell me you dropped that dryad's hair corn. I didn't even see it. I just spun the shrews around. Can I assist you? I'll just gawk at the newborn dryad. Those acorns are my responsibility. How did this happen? Let's do grousing garden. Till next we meet. Thank you, Arlea. I can see you've calmed them down for now. This is not the first time this has happened, and likely would not be the last. It is simply the roots of Midrasil. His behavior is so strange. Be careful. Greetings. Quest. A big pine shrew hopped into a puddle, and this triad appeared. That is what happened. So I found it. Your path. Yes, that would do it. I ought to take on the role of guardian for this one. You do not. You? Really? No. Sorry. So, it'll ex we'll explain this in a moment. You really? No. I like this one. This will be my guardian. You've heard your dull voice long enough. Nubodor says, and my name is Dionysa, Druid Creek Ward. Very well, Dionysa. Answer the call of the wild. Dionysa mimics your posture and raises her head high. I will learn everything I can from you, Guardian. The Druid Creek Ward talks too much. Maybe you will show me how to act. Heal and grow. It seems Dionysa has chosen you to train her. Ethridge's face tightens. Splendid. Just perfect. Good luck, friend. Here we go. Druid Guardian Conference. Typically, the Druid assigned to a Dryad Sanctuary would guide a newborn Dryad until they were ready to take on a position of their own. Unfortunately, it is difficult to separate a Dryad from whomever she imprints on. He just sighs and rubs his eyes. Which she has made very clear. Regardless, tell me about yourself. Perhaps you will... Be just as apt a caretaker as I would have been. Speak with Eldris Creek Ward about raising a dryad. 
in the root bound sanctuary. May the stars guide you. I only have a few questions, Arlea. How often do you assist others with their tasks? Okay. How often? How many times a day? Okay, we have to answer honestly. I often embark on quests on behalf of others. Well, that's true. Um, if I'm going to do a chore, you can bet it's for me alone. If there are any quests remaining on Azeroth, I will find them. The tasks don't matter as much as a reward. When the task is fun, sometimes indicate something else. So I don't know if you get anything for indicate something else, but I'm not going to pick that um, in case it's just kind of like another option. But I think <laughs> if I go by player, um, if there's any quests remaining on Azeroth, I will find them. <laughs> it's that. Uh, but I think I often embark on quests. Quests on behalf of others is sufficient. We'll pick that. Well, good to know then. Dryads take on many duties throughout their lifespan. During their lifespan. Preparing Dionysa for them is rather important. Now, how would you describe your general disposition? Not even a fourth legion invasion could sour my day. No. Uh, if I could become a shadow and cling to the dark spaces of the world, I would. I'm sure my reputation precedes me. I never back down from a fight. I'll always win. I'm not sure. I can be whatever, I guess. I think more in this case, uh, let's go roguey with this one. If I could become a shadow and cling to the dark spaces of the world, I would. That's fine. Trains can be exuberant, so you may meet your match here. <laughs> Last question. What do you consider your greatest failure? I failed to protect someone I care about. Mm. I let an enemy escape on my watch. Never again. I forgot I forgot the flour and a cake I made once. Mm. I failed to bring the proper equipment on dire mission. I never fail. Indicate something else. Um, knowing Arleia's backstory, uh, I'm gonna have to pick the first one. Good luck, friend. I think that's enough. You've led an interesting life, Arleia. I like to think so. The moon be with you. You regularly engage in combat and you solve problems, sometimes for yourself, sometimes for others. That honestly does not sound too far from my experience with Dryads. I think Dionysus will be fine. So something that just grants reputation. May the stars guide you. And I got my quest. So coming right from our friend, friend Ethidris, the family business. I was charged with imparting knowledge on every dryad seed. Theonis will have retained all of my teachings, but she will be unpracticed in implementing them. So it seems you are practiced at completing tasks. Will you show Dionysus the ropes? You will show Dionysus the ropes. That was another question. A group of lashers have grown strangely restless on the twisting wood just outside the garden. Collect some of their hearts so we can discern what has happened. Collect six lasher hearts in the twisting wood near the root-bound sanctuary. Light your path. I will study your every move, guardian. Yeah. Walk gently on the earth. We caretakers of the grove will have many tests for you. Oh, I should you survive. Um... Both Find your own trail. Dionysus, Dionysus, Dionysus connection to Scenarius gives her the ability to grow plants, but she needs space to practice. The stirred up wildlife here will be in your way. The twisting wood nearby will have plenty of space with far fewer hooks. Melamine smiles. Her eyes shine with intensity. If she gets poisoned by a podling, don't worry. Giants are immune to poison. You are not. Have dinosaur grow three flowers in the twisting wood. Wonder where you will. So, our quest is our quest. Okay, we can ask some more questions. What are dream acorns? All acorns in the dream are imbued with great magic. Most are nebulous and can be used in rituals, spells, and much more. Some are descended from great agents and retain the memories of all their ancestors. 
They become ancients themselves upon being planted, and some are dryads, like the ones we care for here. Do all dryads grow from seeds? Yes, but not just any seed. They are dryad acorns unique to the dream. This garden is one of several where they are raised. It, is only, it only takes a splash of water for them to sprout, as you have seen. Also just grimaces at Dionysa. And then they immediately print on the first person they see. Till next we meet. So, um, Dryads are a, a unit in Warcraft 3. You have Archers, they're kind of like a step up from Archers. Night Elves, obviously. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to this. But I have help. I'm assuming she'll just join me. Here we go. Oh, cool. Alright. Sickened growth. Hmm. That didn't look good. This reminds me of... Is it Everbloom Forest? Um, Draenor? No, no, no. It actually happens in, I think, um... Shadowing Valley. There's an area where there's a bunch of, uh... Oh, there is one of these. This is in there. This is what I'm saying. Um, there are bees. This is so much fun. If you say so. I'm gonna miss my bomb. Easy enough. Hmm, something is off. These flowers should be bigger. I'm not sure what you want me to show you how to do, Staff. You got a big pointy stick. Stick it in things. Let me eviscerate the next one, Guardian. Are you actually- do you actually- Are you- are you copying my attacks? That would be cool if, like, if she copies a finishing blow, like she mentions a finishing, not that she copies it, but she mentions as a fin she mentions mentionsing, mentions a finishing blow. I mean, it could be. Flowers grow. 
What? The soil must be weak. Perhaps I need to be stronger. Life is all around us. Oh, I need to grow two more. Rest oh, until you awaken. I wonder if I can get her to make a comment about. I'm trying not to use eviscerate this time. I mean, it's a finishing move, so. Okay. Maybe it's just. Uh, I have to. I'll have to pay attention on another character that doesn't have an actual attack called eviscerate. <laughs> Stench, I smell it too, and the pollings too. They have poison this place. Answer the call of the wild. Wonder where you will. What do we do next? How many quests do you complete in a day? How many quests involve stabbing things? I have to pay attention to other characters to see what she says. This is very amusing that she's saying this on a rogue. How many quests involve stabbing things? All of them. Almost all of them involve, involve stabbing things, so you see adjust her grip on her spear. I might have a favorite kind of quest. Find your own trail. The druid, the druid Creek Ward told me lashes tend to lie in wait for their prey. I'm glad these are not. It makes the fight more interesting. Rest until these you hearts smell awful, almost as awful as those pollings. The sharp little teeth. And Guardian, if the pollings are poisoning around here, then that large growth with the incredible stench over there needs pruning. Rest ah, and this is when we, we deal with this. I was I saw that someone was finding it over there, and I was going to jump on it because I knew I needed it for the quest. The pollings have, the pollings have poked, rotted, and poisoned this mass of plants to produce a perilous opponent. <laughs> Glad I have a a thing to prevent plosives on my microphone. Um, a poisonous promotion. Guardian, these podlings have been poisoning the lashers. And now they have twisted that Madragosa. Mandragora, sorry. If we do not stop it, it will spread the poison to the garden. This must be what had the wildlife in the garden so disturbed. They are on the verge of an invasion. Let us kill it. This is what you prepared me for. A dire quest. Defeat the sickened growth and twisting wood. Here it involves stabbing. Go. So let's go stab it. I did, I wish I had paid more attention on the uh, other character I did this song. Oh, do all pets smell like this one? No. Ha! Taste the feet, plant! Now to pull out all that poison. Ah, that was unpleasant. Oh, I'm feeling better already. See? Just like Millerine taught me. I can't wait to show her. I'll meet you at the- I'll meet you back at the garden. So, back at the garden. We go. weird sort of 
fly thing. That poisonous promotion. The Druid Precorp mostly attends to the Dryad suits, it seems. And there is not much he does aside from talking to them all day with that, that wearisome voice. Millerine is the lead gardener here. I take all my orders from her. Tainessa smiles brightly. But your orders will always come for first, Guardian. A poisonous promotion. Wonder where you will. Hey, uh, Guardian. Guardian. I have never felt more alive than with a spear in hand. Dionysa smiles in a way she bears all of her teeth. Thank you for your, thank you for your guardianship. Find your own trail. So before we go into this one, we're going to uh, ask her some questions. How did you get here again? The Druid Precord tells me he lost my acorn in the garden. Then you dropped it in a puddle. All dryads come from dream acorns, but not all dream acorns had house. <laughs> Not all dream acorns house dryads, Diana Sigrins. I'm glad my acorn was in your hands, Guardian. I thought something else. How'd you decide upon a name so quickly? And Dionysa huffs impatiently. The dream keyboard told me all sorts of things while I was in an acorn. He would not stop talking about this one dreadful poet. I do not know what he was trying to teach me with that story, but I learned to like the name of their greatest rival, Dionysus. So she picked... <laughs> yep. What do I call you? Wonder where you will. Guardian or teacher? Parent? I want you to tell me what to call you. The other dryads who will ask me who my druid is now that I'm working in the garden on my own. I want to tell them that I do not have a druid. I have you. I wonder what they say if when I, I'll, I'll see what happens when I do this on my druid character. <laughs> I do not have a druid. I have you, a druid. <laughs> they may have adjusted that. Um, tell me what title you prefer. Speak with Dionysus to choose a title in the root base, uh, root bound sanctuary, and you get crown of the dryad daughter, which is a rep. Great try for the um from the Dream Wardens. Rest until you awaken. So our choices are mother, father, commander, guardian, shadow blade. Now, what I did notice with my other character, because I was paying attention at this time. If you have I'm guessing you must have done Legion. Um, to get the last option, because that is the Legion title that you get. So on my uh, shaman, it was Farseer was the option. Uh, this being a rogue, shadow blade, and those def both definitely come from Legion. So I'm curious. I mean, there are other examples in this expansion of having response options based on things you've done in the game prior to this expansion. So this is yeah, this is just interesting as an option. Um, but what would Arleia answer in response to this? Mother, no. Father, no. Commander. Not really. Not in this. Not in this situation. Guardian. Shadowblade. Hmm. It's between the last two. With Guardian being the more generic and Shadowblade being the title, but the fact that the whole rogue class or class hall quests in Legion, it was a secret organization, so it's a little weird to have my dryad call me that. Um, meanwhile, we have a super bloom happening. But um, I am going to say in this case, Guardian. Heal and grow. 
another rogue that I have will will pick Shadow Blade. Um, so, you Malshiath in the quest. Walk gently right. on the earth. What an excellent title. I'll use it as often as I can. Complete quest. Find your own trail. So I think that is the end of this quest line for now. Life is all around us. Rest. So we will now move on to this one. <laughs> Getting rewards from a super bloom I'm not even participating in. But I'm in the area, so maybe I'll still benefit. So this quest... Um, a sleepy search. Check up with sleeping druids. In our fight against Herax forces, a group of my fellow druids went out in search of, for a quiet and safe place to rest. But Herax forces closing in on our on our their location, I have to start planning for another assault. I can't split my time as much as I'd wish. I last saw them heading south to a cave by the shore. Please, I just need to make sure they're safe. So this is the cave. Shh, don't wake up the other druids. That they have their leaf beds. The Ferox forces attacked us. As you can see, there's no issue with that here. However, I do have a much bigger problem on my hands. I wish I could fall asleep. I need to rest. I need my strength, but I can't sleep. I just need your help. Build a blanket. <laughs> I'm unable to rest. I've spent all my energy in battle, but there is too much noise on the ground. It's too hard for me to sleep. I know. It pains me to ask this, but I need to rest so I can get back out and fight. Could you feed two birds with one seed for me? Take out the enraged lashers, more lashers, and retrieve their leaves so I can make a blanket to rest on. Collect six velvety lasher leaves from lashers. Fluffy filler retrieval. There is no way I could rest without something soft to sleep on. Luckily, the dream has some sage so plush that it would even put rock feathers to shame. It would be perfect filling. Could you collect some sage around the area for me to rest on? Collect eight silky sage. I think this is the quest that gives you the toy for the leaf bed, which I already have. Um... But just so you know, I'm pretty sure I think that's it. We'll see. See if I'm proven wrong. More la- <laughs> Okay, they're not lashers. They're, they're still flowers that attack your face. Yeah, they're lashers. Got one. It is kind of neat. They do use the same, um, the graphic for Silky Sage. I forget which expansion has Mountain Sage as one of the herbs. It's the same graphic. But this is consistent. Sage is Sage. And it does look a little bit like, um, Silver sa like sage with the silver fluff fluffy stuff on it. It does actually look like the real thing. It doesn't glow. It doesn't actually look like sage here. But the leaves don't look like sage, but I'm not gonna nitpick. What won't let me kill it? Really, for real. 
Oh my god, why is it not dying? I'm gonna get killed by that little thing. Alright. I'm not playing with you anymore. Them snoring. Oh. I got enough of those. I think I still need some of the sage, though. Oh, that's that thing snoring. <laughs> what is making that noise? Seven, and this should be eight. They're in a cave! I forgot. Now I'm stuck in the tree. Ah! Where am I? Oh, hello. I don't know. Looks good to me. Looks clickable. I'm gonna make grotto of sorts. Spawning pool. Attacks and abilities occasionally unleash a swarm of frogs, <laughs> inflicting 387 frost damage to all enemies. Anyway. That's what I have on me now. Above. Build a blanket. For the Emerald Dream. It's sure quite chaotic here. Thanks to the leaves. Hopefully this will help me fall asleep. The sage should be soft enough to make a comfortable place to sleep. Thank you for your assistance. Thanks for bringing back the bed feeling. Heated hearthstone hustle. Wait, my hearthstone. I can't sleep without my hearthstone. A Jardin stole it during our last battle. It stays warm perpetually and I always sleep with it. I hate, I hate that I must ask more of you, but could you get my hearthstone? The jar that stole it should be near her I saw me just north of here. Retrieve the heated heart stone from the stone warmer. Wait, I forgot to read that quest a bit more. Please get my heart stone. I can't sleep without it. A jardin leading the invasion on the Emerald Dream holds onto a stone that stays ever warm. I will I will get your Nikki. <laughs> Never knew druids were so needy. Head cannon. There are no druids in Arleo's immediate family. Eh.
Oh yeah, I remember this one. Pass both that. And there it is, keep it hurt still. If I could take down one more dragon. The stone warmer says. Well, not anymore. This music over here in particular reminds me of, I think it's a Final Fantasy game, but I can't remember which one it is. Give Thalian the heated heartstone. It's not working. My eyes grow tired, but my body is still awake. Gosh, I can still not fall asleep. I'm embarrassed to ask, but there was only one option left. And here, like, you get your little. That's when you know you're close to the end of a quest line. You get your your little reputation token. Um, why can I still not fall asleep even with a heated blanket? Billing curses the air and sighs. This is embarrassing to request, but my mother used to sing me a lullaby before I slept back in Teldrassil. May I ask you to do the same? Any lullaby will do. I just want to rest peacefully. So... Yes, I am going to accept this. We're in a situation of a Calderai singing a lullaby to another Calderai who was in Teldrassil. He, he's probably a lot younger than Arlea. Um, sing a lullaby. You get to choose lyrics. Phelan lays on his heated blanket and closes his eyes. Perhaps it is time to sing. In Ysera's embrace, the forest sways. Whispers of leaves, soft grass, hush little goblin, don't say a peep, rock a pie, blood elf on the treetops. Um, let's keep this, let's keep this Calderai-ish. I mean, either one or two will work. Phelan yawns and goes quiet. His Big and burly chest puffs as he breathes. Breaths get deeper. With ancient chants, we'll dream away. Papa's gonna make an explosive sheep. <laughs> when Helicare blows, the cradle will rock. Um, as Moonbeam stands, we sleep and bless. That sounds about right. Through moon. Okay. Thelen muscles relax. His fingers loosen. His face tightens. Through moonlit mist, calmness shall rise world tree blows the shelter keep and if that sheep falls to blast when the bell breaks the cradle will fall um the world tree blows the shelter keep well yeah this is he'll be the greatest he'll be the sneakiest goblin in gadgets eh? And down will come baby cradle and all. Um, so that's basically Rockabye baby, just slightly altered. Alakir factors into it when the wind bur when blow yeah. Um, sleep now, child, neath the starry skies. Dream on, little one, in nature's sleep. Let's keep starry skies, considering that what Calderai means. I guess you fell asleep. Balin snores in his slumber. So let's just tiptoe out of here. Let me turn in the quest elsewhere. 
Let's, let's go. And tomorrow I'm probably gonna work on the other characters, the uh, the strays, the two strays. At least get them to the main quest line. Champion, were you able to find them? So he's the one that originally sent me out on the quest. Thank you so much for checking out my friends. When they reawake, we'll be ready to fight for X-Horses once more. Oh, that was from the... Uh, this is Reputation. I am hoarding Reputation tokens for a very good reason. I actually do have to send these to other tunes. But... Someone's doing the spring quest. The reason why I'm hoarding them is because this week... Okay, not this week. Oh no, it does start this week. On Thursday is the 19th anniversary. Oh, wow. And with that, you get... a really huge rep boost, an experience boost. So, I am saving all of my rep. I, I, I handed in some of them, but I'm saving all of my rep to click, in, click on on Thursday. And you get the holiday rep boost to hopefully, you know, aid in uh, rep gains faster. She's only at three. She'll probably be at four soon. But I just want to get it out of the way. I know people are doing it because they really want to get that augmentations that um the that stone. <laughs> what is it? The permanent augment room. Um. I'm also working on that, but mostly I'm working on having at least 200,000 gold. Um, so at least I have 100,000 gold left because that is 100,000 gold. I'll look at it soon. Anyway, let's head to the next one. I don't think there is there. Oh, there is another quest here. Okay. So this picks up. I don't know when it pops, but it, I think it's after the last Kanzu one because I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah. Sky Mother's Ire. We received a report that the Druids of the Flame have established another staging ground just north of the Eye of Ysera. Unfortunately for them, their incursion point has disrupted the local winged wife of life and drawn the ire of the Mother of Flight. That's Aviana. Speak with Aviana and lend her your aid. We will need her eyes and wings in the battle to come. So, this picks up here. I have no doubt my old friend has established a roost above the invasion point. Find her to the east. So we are going to do this. Because this does technically continue. I may have spoiled it a little bit, but you'll find out why. Um, this does continue from one of the other quests we did this evening. Let's try this. There we go. mother tree. Why do you care what they are doing? Fascination, my precious friend. It's the only reason I care. Just Okay, I want to read all this. So, Aviana and Konzu are talking. Oh, a friend, mine or yours? So let's read what their conversation was. Um... Aviana says as you approach by the mother tree. Why do you care what they are doing? Kanzu says, fascination, my precious friend. It's the only reason I care. Change comes to the dream, and you're not in the least bit curious. Aviana responds, curious? I've watched them and their sycophantic leaders burn hijab. I will not let them... And then Kanzu interrupts it. Oh, friend, why do you... 
I like Kanzu. My winged children fill the skies. They are so I am going to ask these questions because now you can actually life. ask them. Um, things are not what they seem. Isn't that exciting? Why are you called a Loa? Why are you called a Night Elf? Why are you called a Rogue? It's who you are. Loa is who I am. It's what I was called by my first devotees. And it's what I've chosen to embrace. It comes with swiffles their great head around, their eyes are narrowing in, cheek, in a cheeky expression. Mystery is certainly delightful, isn't it? So... First devotees, probably... Trolls. So, those come before night elves. Wait until you see what happens next. Oh, is this your dream or mine? <laughs> I have met and needed many spirits in the wilds and those that worship them. You, however, are new. And I'm curious if this option is available depending on how much content you've done. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be curious if I bring in a Drakthir and see what they get. Because my Drakthir have not aided anybody really outside of the Drakthir. <laughs> Um, and those that were some whereas Arleia absolutely has um, having gone through Kata especially so yeah yeah <laughs> doesn't that make this all the more exciting an unfamiliar droplet in an ocean of ordinariness the wild gods, the august celestials, even the many lower you are familiar with, instead of perceiving me through the lens of what is known, consider an alternative. The tree of life is vast, her crown reaching high and her roots sinking deep, a new shadow blade. I've only seen a few of her many branches. Note using my legion title. My title from legion. So they are letting me know they know quite a bit about me. Um, and that does check out when I came in on my um, my elemental shaman referred to her as Farseer. So it is it is doing that. Um, would it do it if you've not done Legion? Would it also mention the Alga Celestials if you had not done Pandaria? Um... So I'm curious, like, if this is specifically, like, pulling from previous expansions and things that you've completed there. I'm probably looking at rep. Rep is probably the easiest way. <laughs> looking at rep and titles is probably the easiest thing to code in. Like, if this, then, then this. And I like this because it personalizes it. It gives you a little insight on what comes to is like, I, I know who you are. You don't know who I am. I know who you are. Which I think is really neat. And I, I like those little touches and I hope it continues. I'm just curious to see if I come in on another character that's not. It hasn't done much. I mean, the Drakthir are the perfect candidates for this. Um, what the options will be. Now, this is going to be curious when reps are shared. Um, things like shadow blade like unique class titles i mean drakthir can't don't have a class hall vokers don't have a class hall in legion so they don't have that experience um but so what will be in the spot if anything but i'm wondering if other things like arleia's experiences and pandaria will now be shared with the Drakthir who were still in stasis at that point? I don't know. I'll be curious. I think the option is you can still run certain quest lines. Um, like they're not you didn't complete but you'll have access to the items. So the rep only affects what you can purchase and what you can buy and what you can trade for um, with certain factions. But it doesn't affect, like, it doesn't wipe out the quest for you. But anyway, so let's continue this. Just wanted to point out this this cute little, cute little art, like, not cute so much, but like really cool kind of 
paying attention to where, where your character has been before. I like that. Um, it's hard to say what triggers what, but definitely would have had to have done Legion Class Hall to some extent to get Shadowblade. Um, and possibly the August Celestials is a mention there because of that. But more importantly, is this... predictable. Is this, this this particular option even available if you haven't done any of those? So that's what I'm curious to see. But we're not going to see it today because we're only doing stuff on this character. Goodbye and hello yes, as always. I love that. The skies are my domain, mortal. Hi, Aviana. The Sky Mother's Utter. I expected Cenaris would send some support eventually. But this foolish ground dwelling lower? Aviana taps her talon in annoyance as she gives Konzo a side eyed glare. Those who harm my children. Aviana's eyes narrow as she watches the dreams of the flame far below. Aviana's assessment. Konzu may be content with letting these bar these heretics destroy the very fabric of the dream, but I am not. Bring me scraps of their armor stained with blood as proof of your deed. Do not hold back our lair. Remember what these heathens are capable of. Collect 20 bloodied armored scraps. And what does Konzu want me to do? Are you supposed to be here? <laughs> Konzu's quandary. Getting lost is the best way to find things. That is true. As long as you don't get too lost. You again. Well, you must be here to help, correct? Absolutely you are. Why would you not? This development is so exciting. Look at these desolating druids be up to. Fortunately, a few of my friends have infiltrated the druids. I'm sure they have quite the story to tell. Go forth, my curious companion, and bring back exciting news. And speak to the flame disguised dreamkin to gather intel on the druids of the flame. We'll wait until you see what happens next. Speak, mortal. The contrast. What a fascinating creature. I gotta find out who does this. I gotta find out who voices. <laughs> One thing I wish they would do is just, just make my poisons permanent. <laughs> That's all. Make them just like any other, like, like, paladin auras, warrior stances. Can't you just make my poisons permanent? <laughs> At least I don't have to make them anymore. So we are now looking for, we're in this area. This is going to bring us close to the, uh, the Chandras and Lillian boss. But, but right now... This actually reminds me of... It might be Kat. This whole thing part reminds me of Kata. And it, it references Kata a lot too. I mean, not just visually, not just in theme. But, wow, I'm dying. It's really annoying to fight other night elves because I'm gonna die. It had me rooted to fire like some craziness. I was not paying attention to something. Ashfidel research. Let me get somewhere over here and heal up a bit and read this. Alright, Ashfordell research notes. You find some singe research notes on the slain druid. The notes detail experiments being carried out by the druids of the flame. You learn that they have created an unusual pollen capable of infusing dream flora with their flame imbued magic. The next stage targets local wildlife in the same with the same pollen. Kanza would definitely be interested in the sample of the pollen in these notes. Collect the sample of the cinder pollen. Flame Disguise Dreamkin. 
The fiery Jean Kun looks at you in surprise. Kanzu is interested in what you have learned about the Jews of the Flame. Kanzu, Kanzu! The dreamless Jews come, but they. But they knew burn. They watch the plants. They change the plants. I will apprentice the Kanzu. Kanzu! Prickly Plum. I don't know what Prickly Plum does. Prickly Plum attacks. Attacks upon you have a chance to inflict uh, 1,844 nature damage to enemies within 12 yards and knock them back. I'll take. Especially with these ones being so burning and hurting. will have your head. Peace is promised for the future. What the shit? I have got too many on me right now. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm totally dying. There's no way I could take on that many. A wisp. I am a wisp with thorns. And the dragon owls are a spirit dragon. But it makes sense that in the Emerald Dream, you're, well, I'm a night elf. This is who I would be. Okay, I need to get as close to possible to. I was talking to my friend here. Don't be so rude. Kanzu is interested in what you have learned from the Jews of the Flame. Kanzu, Kanzu! They harvest the seeds and roots with fire, but fire no burn. Fire blooms. I will practice the Kanzu. Kanzu! Sample of cinder pollen. Ashwood research binder. I'm gonna actually stand over here to the side. Um, this is Binder as a book. Ashwood Research Binder. As you open the disorganized Ashwood Binder, you flip to an official looking letter marked with a sigil you've never seen. We have received word from the priests to begin our work to prepare our arrival in the dream. Now is the time to embrace the inevitable future. We will remind our people that fire and life can coexist. Attach this missive. You will find instructions to carry out until our allies have finished their preparations. The dawn of our triumph is upon us. Soon all we have worked for and all that we have accomplished will bear fruit. Page two. Attach the previous page. You find a second note scrawled in Harsher's hand signature. You are assigned to Lunadane on the western shores. Our new allies will require demonstrations of our expertise with fire and nature. The local blossoms will do nicely. Those are the fire blossoms that you had to get during the, the Luna Day, your request on with Chandras. Um, show our new benefactors the power we hold over flame and nature. I will oversee the distribution of our needed supplies from our contacts in Valdraken. Expect delays. In our observance, I am staggering our purchases and shipping lines to evade detection 
when the consortium and other watchful eyes in the Dragon Isles oversee a charger. A charger. You flip to an inventory page with several bills of sale bearing the mark of the Arsons Consortium. New cinder bloom, two crates. New variant harvested from Hyjal. Low supply due to supply line conflicts. Magmola. Magmolia. Ten crates harvested from the Firelands. Readily available access. Supplied by the Artisans Consortium. Firebloom. Ten crates harvested in Daenerys in the Searing Gorge. Golden Fire Orchid. One crate harvested in the Valley of the Four Winds. Damaged in transit. Unusable. Firely, five crates. Harvested from Bori and Tundra. Cinderbloom, ten crates. Harvested in Uldum. Preserved fireweed. One bundle. Extinct plant. Harvest from Draenor. Treat with caution. Freshly picked flame cap. One bundle. One bundle. Harvest in Dengamarsh. These are actually locations of plants. Uh, fire base, like fire aligned plants in those expansions in their respective expansions, so I, I appreciate the nod. As an herbalist and alchemist, I am familiar with all of them, so it was nice to see them mentioned. Though I don't really remember the Golden Fire Orchid. Huh. I don't remember that. I'll have to take a, I'll have to take a trip, make some in Pandaria and look, at, look for it. Um, or just look it up online. Page 4. You stop at a page with many messy notes scrolled all over it. The bow blossoms in these parts of the plains are remarkable. They are rife with such potent life energies. It was difficult to set them aflame. Even when doing so, the blossoms regenerated rather quickly from the center of the flower. I wonder if it has anything to do with the proximity of the dream portal. Our efforts to imbue the blossoms with living flame continue, but the resistance to change has halted our progress. New cinder bloom properties have inspired an idea on how on how to approach the infusion of these blossoms. Success. Upon observing the rapid burning and regrowing of cinder bloom petals when ignited, my cohorts and I have attempted a mirrored approach with the bow blossoms. The notes continue on the next page. Final. Final flame blossom infusion. Infuse the petals of the blossoms with enough flame to spark ignition. When the regeneration from the center of the flower begins, sequence several <laughs> detailed sequence several channels of flame into the central staining, overlowing the regenerative portions of the bow blossoms. Bow blossoms um, resulted in utter suffusion of the flowers, turning them into flora of living flame. Further inspection reveals these flame blossoms refuse to die. Rumors are going around that another group has captured a dream guardian. And we'll, and we'll be transporting it to these ruins. I wonder what they found. The rest of the page is scrawled with scribbles, sketches, and hard to read. Footnotes. Page six. That's the last page. You stop in a page with a formal note, with a formal note, in the same eloquent hand script you saw earlier in the book. My faithful students, as our kin continue to convert other guardians of the dream in preparation of our invasion, I am faced with a daunting logistical problem. Every druid we dedicate to converting and fusing the denizens of the Dream of Flame as one less druid we have in our ranks to take the World Tree once we open the way. If we turn the very forest of the Dream to our cause, we cannot hope to convert. Let's see, if we are to turn. Yes, we cannot hope to convert hundreds of thousands of lesser creatures by sheer force alone. Fortunately, I have been inspired by your success with the Blossoms of Lunaday. One of once our forces have entered the dream, a select few of you will begin your study on the local flora of the realm. I believe the secret its unifying nature and fire can be found within the dream itself. If we can infuse the flowers and plants of the dream into specimens of living flame, then we can help usher in the new dawn of the, the new dawn the prophet has promised us. We are not here to burn or sear the beasts and flowers and trees of this pristine realm. We are here to change them. Our future and the future of this world depends on our mission. From ashes we are born, upon flames we ascend. Viridren dog caller. So. Viridren believes that by 
turning creatures into beings of flame, not killing them by flame. I guess it's all part... They, they mentioned, like, the immortality part earlier, so my guess is it's connected. Man, these thorns hurt. For real. The trick is... Don't let them cast it. But when you got two of them, what do you do? Fire Drake him looks at you in surprise. Kanzu is interested in what you have learned about the Druids of the Flame. Kanzu, Kanzu! The dream in flame, a fledging flower, it sprouts and blooms, blooms of destruction. I will report this to Kanzu. Kanzu! Kanzu is interested in what you have learned about the Druids of the Flame. So, now you start getting more than one choices. Kanzu, Kanzu, it burns, it burns, the flowers, the flowers peak burns from roots through petals, the flower, fire bloom. I will report this to Kanzu. Kanzu? Kanzu! You gotta interrupt that attack. Oh, they hurt you. I was able to avoid the most of that with my on my shaman because it's burning wrath, I believe, is the thing that causes great pain. All right, I've got I've got enough of that now. So now I got to find our last Kanzu is interested in what you have learned about the Druids of the Flame. Kanzu, Kanzu, from blooms to wind, the pollen soars through beasts and plant. The burning spreads. I will put this to Kanzu or size Kanzu. Got it. So now we, we fly back to Kanzu and Aviana. My winged children fill the skies! They are my eyes, my breath, my life. Every minute they are left uncontested, another portion of the dream is lost to the Venus X. The sky is my than domain, Champion, remember that the next time you pr your, your prey invade your homeland. Look. <laughs> Caldry. We've seen some shit. Aviana shoots a cruel side eye towards Kunzu. <laughs> oh. 
She's judging. She's judging them. Things are not what they seem. Kongzu swivels their head and leans in close. There's something different about you, Olega. You bought me something? Oh, I do enjoy mysteries. Um, Kongzu's quandary. Goodbye. And hello, well, as always. Now, this is interesting, isn't it? Kongzu shudders as they tap their feet rapidly in excitement. You must be fascinated by this too, Olega. How silly of you. Of course you are. Getting lost is the best way to find things. Now this is related to the note she found. Um, quest. I found this bundle of flame pollen and these research notes within the Druze of the Flame. Kunzu peers at the note, reading it in full before sniffing at the bag of pollen. How intriguing. Not only have these druids called a new type created a new type of plant, but they are using its pollen to cross pollinate other dream plants. How curious. It makes you wonder what kind of effect this has on the local wildlife. Or perhaps a loa. Only one way to find out, isn't there? Okay, our Leia's gonna be like, wait, hold on. He's been frightfully predictable. Wait, we don't you Kwanzaa no! This pollen, this change is is boring, predictable. This isn't changed. What a fascinating creature. You've gone mad. Sadly, no, but this does change things. Ashfidel research. Getting lost is the best way to find things. slowly as they stare down at you. But wait until you see that was what happens devastatingly next. mundane. Sutton ash forever unchanged. Kunzu shakes their enormous head. No, I do not like. You've been frightfully predictable. Appalling pollen. Goodbye, and hello, as always. This cinder pollen doesn't evoke interesting change. It consumes all until nothing. But ash remains. It brings uniformity. I find that to be tragically stale. I'm all for change, no matter the origin. But if this change time is all future possibilities for future change, it must be stopped. If creatures of the dream have been infected by this pollen, they must be extinguished. This is not a flame that can be allowed to grow. Reveal and kill ten cinder pollen bees. So, Kanzu is on board now. The best way to find things. Says. Tasting the flame pollen has given me a small glimpse into the terror. I can't read it because my thing is in the way. I'm going to read, read it from here. Testing this flame pollen has given me a small glimpse into the terrible, unchanging state that awaits these creatures. Kanzu says, take this charm and use my vision to see which creatures have been affected. You know what to do next. So Kanzu is opposed to, well... lack of change and basically yeah <laughs> so her reasoning is not exactly aligned but in the ends <laughs> you come to the same conclusion sort of kind of kind of sort of um as comes to his vision charge your power to the text and there's charge wildlife within 40 yards and the meandering so we'll take care of that in a second. This is another rep thing. I'm gonna throw that into my rep stash. Jeez, later this week. Um, we did get another we did get more notes. This is only one page. The page is dotted with scratched out observation notes, scribbled diagrams, and barely legible and a barely legible journal entry. Our experiment was a success. The flame pollen from our newly created specimens have proven a viable means for natural flame infusion. You are being very noisy, dragon. Right. We've not only observed the successful transformation of other plant life, but some of the local wildlife as well. It's curious to note, however, 
that our pollen has little to no effect on the more powerful spirits of the dream. Neither Dryad nor Treant appear to be affected by the pollen. I theorize the more powerful the denizen, the more resistant they may be to our magic. I have recommended we focus our efforts on the local wildlife for the next stage in our plan. Firiden has been updated on the progress, and Chardon has ordered the initi initiation of Phase 2. Our guards have isolated a small glade and transplanted a few dozen grafts of our asphodel specimen to test its effects on the wildlife. Speak, Morton. Abroot the cause. Aviana's gauge remains locked on Kanzu for the moment, her brow furrowed. Well, I don't see eye to eye with Kanzu's fascination for change. Their incessant inquiry has unveiled a more deep-seated plot than originally suspected. Cutting down the wildlife won't mean much if we don't re, re tear out the root of the cause. Locate the burning Ashfidels in the glade below and tear them out. Collect eight root uprooted Ashfidels. It's getting late and I can't talk. Let's go for it. All right. This is a close to my bag windows. Depending if I'm going to swap out my Slither Drake. We've been good pals. I like the Whimsy Drake. It's very cute. Oh, I need to turn on the char- oh. Sorry. Baiting if I want to save the the last quest for tomorrow. I just get it done. Let's get it done. Oh, made me kill a cute thing. That's an elite. We're not going to try to quit. But I do need to get to the Ash Fidel. Being an herbalist makes them actually tells me shows me where they are in advance, so I think I'll have a slight edge. But I think it would also show up for people doing the quest thing too. It just doesn't seem right. I still have, yeah, I still have. Uh, Hanzu's charm.
Okay, that's enough for flowers now. I don't even think I could pick them even if I wanted to. Oh, I can't even see them. I know what you are. Feel bad that one was sleeping, but sorry. You've been pollinated. So I must kill you now. Two more. Two more. I could do the seed, but I'm not gonna do the seed. We're focused, we're staying focused on the quests. We're doing the quests. There will be no quests when I'm done. There they go. I will hide in Aviana first. Come now, Aviana. This could have not do what credit has earned. Your penchant for fascinated in action has finally yielded fruit. Do try. Do try. <laughs> Do try your best not to choke on it. You wound me, O oh lady of the birds. Do not mistaken my curiosity for change from meaningless in action. I am reborn. Ashradels are allowed to spread their foul pollen unchecked. And the rest of the dream is engraved, Adrian. Those who harm my children. With the claws. Well done, are they? <laughs> I ensure scenarios. All insurance scenarios is made aware of the damage these weeds have inflicted. A few dryads should be able to clear up any remaining pollen or flowers we might have missed. Avio's gate drops to the druids of the flame, encouragement point directly below. All but one task remains, no champion. Is this your dream? Oh, mine. Goodbye. And hello, as always. Imagine the lights these agents of Mon Monot God. Imagine the lengths these agents of monotony had to go to in order to get me, me, the lower of change, to interfere with their dream changing plot. The absolute Next. Overseer Chardron. Chardron oversees the Druids of the Flames, twisted experiments on the dreams flora and fauna. No, I didn't want to go. Overseer Oversight. Those research notes you brought, Konzu, made mention of the ones behind these foul experiments. The Overseer, the one named Chargen, has been under our noses this whole time. He oversees their research station below us. We are to permanently end their terrible experiments and disrupt their progress. Then he must be made an example of. 
Slay Overseer Charter. And then you get charge staff for the Overseer, which is 750 reputation, the Dream Wardens, a gigantic Dream Seed. There's a lot of stuff I don't have yet. Thank you, all the things. And some leveling dreaming quests. And we'll accept that. Mortal, your dedication through these discoveries has been something to behold. I'm almost a little proud to have set you on such heroics. Must you always must it always be about you? Of course, Aviana. And this already, already this mortal already expects as much. As a friend of Konzu, they already come to know me quite well. Maybe not at all. Things are not what they seem. You've been frightfully predictable. And, it's, and it says, Kanzu blinks slowly as they regard you with a knowing nod. <laughs> I love Kanzu. I, I'm sure Kanzu's going to get me in trouble. But I love both Kanzu. And when, when has that ever stopped me before in this game? When? Okay, where is this? Where is this annoying thing that I'm going to now? Let's do this properly. Let's do this like a proper assassin. Come to the hero of book or something. Yeah? Fjordin's wisdom will come to, I guess, pass. So let's fly back. Where am I going? Oh, up here. Bones is gone. They're overseers, then, then? Aviana gives you a curt nod of good, good. But charging gone, their experiments destroyed, and their research brought to a halt. Let's hope this is the end of their twisted schemes. If you wonder where Kanzu swooped off to during your absence, don't ask. They weren't inclined to tell me. They mentioned something about being bored with the agents of uniformity. I'm sure they'll turn up again at some inopportune time. So am I. Smoothing all my stuff. And Aviana has nothing more to say to me, so now we move on. To the last side quest. At least, so far. I mean, there's a reason why I saved this one. Um, this character has familiarity with both people in this. She was a rogue. She's dealt with Lillian in many quests. As such, I apologize for the treatment you have been subjected to here in the dream. <laughs> Don't worry, Shadowless. I care very little for what anyone thinks of me. When we speak to the Keepers next, I'll remind them that you are helping us. It's fine, Chandras. I'm not exactly thin-skinned. I'm skinned much at all. Lillian's got jokes. <laughs> my blade stays sharp. Why am I working alongside a night elf? I don't know. Forsaken wish to help. Not all of us were there when the tree burnt. Not all of us agreed. It is time to show that we are not the monsters they think we are. I do have to recommend Chandras for her work and patience. I don't expect it to be I didn't expect it to be so welcoming to our kind as the keepers we have been working with are addressing me. Do not linger. I never miss a shot. There's much work to be done. With both of you both you and Lillian here, I'm confident we can finish our mission. Goddess watch over you. Alea, good. We have cornered our quarry. Let me brief you on our mission. Consider it done. 
There is much work to be done here. With both of you, both of you in the okay, okay. Some of the <laughs> she said that already. On your mark. Some of the flames. Lily and I have been shadowing Rayless Firewind. We have uncovered his plan. He has manipulated the Sisters of the Flame to bind spirits from the dream to magical spirit stones. A Rayless blessing. These stones became powerful tools of corruption, allowing these fallen dryads to twist the dream and its denizens. We will start our purge with the Dryads. They have the stones. They will end Rayless. The hunt begins, our lair. Help Chandras and Lillian retrieve the spirit stones from the Sisters of Flame Dryads. Consider it done. Okay, so we party up. Cool. Look. This is uh, this a dream team, except that I'm in it. <laughs> but I, I, I trust these two. Okay, no, we're all still. Oh, what's this? Allows you to pick up. Okay, we'll then pick that one. We've got Star Shower. Yes. I'm assuming that comes in handy elsewhere, but. Alright, maybe I need to just fly to where I need to be? What is going on? Okay. This makes more sense. Oh wait, I'll check that out in a second because it looks like there were mounts involved. Ferocity. I am disturbed by a toxic. It's not bode well for the dream. We'll take them down and we'll get the stones. Alright, so I do want to see something because we do get mounts. Um but now that I can actually fly in the zone, I want to see if we get a flying mount option. Yep. Cool. Alright, so Chandra's is flying. Um, Hippogriff, and Nalene's flying a bat. Very, very true to their heritage. So. Cool. I like to see that. Why didn't you send someone else to do this? Seems uh, seems below your pay grade. All missions in the dream are of the utmost importance. I will not let I will not let another tree fall. I mean, Chandra's ranks pretty damn high in uh, the Calderai. She's basically the adopted daughter of Taranda. Chandra's, I believe, is as old. If not close to old, not. She's old. Chandra's is. She's one of the the oldest. Um, elder. This is going quickly with our lady. Yeah. Yes, I have time to return to Mirdrasil and take out another mission for my people. Well, I don't be the overachiever.
these stones, I can feel the spirits in them. I'm sure it's my real response to amplify the giant's power. They're his. To a slightly safer spot. Where'd she go? I am listening. Bring me all four spirit stones in which keep them close so they do not fall into the wrong hands. So these are it wolf spirit, leaf spirit, bear spirit, moon spirit. Continue. On your mark. Good. Chandra satchels the spirit stones and small leather pouch. Now let us put an end to Raelis's madness. Goddess, watch over you. Raelis Firewind, a druid equipped with enough firepower to burn the lush dream crags to ash. One last step. This operation would not have would not have come this far without Lillian's aid. We may not have much in common, but Lillian is a dependable ally. After fighting side by side in the dream, we have an odd kinship that was forged by this mission. Together we will finish this. With the stones in our hands, it is now safe to take out Raelis and end his little crusade. Onward. Eliminate Raelis Firewind. Reputation. Consider it done. Good old fashioned assassination mission. Your ass is mine. It's a mine, give me back the stones! If you don't understand what you were dealing with, I know I want to change just... Sorry, I'm trying to read the dialogue here. I know what I'm doing, Lillian. Maybe back at camp. Is it something I said? So, Chandra's apparently got too close during the fight. Lillian expressed concern. Chandra's took offense. Seemed a little abrupt. What happened back there, Chandras? What is wrong? I said it was nothing. Do not ask again. The sentinels stand ready. That was... Sandras's gaze is locked to something else, and she seems deep in thought. She then shakes her head as if to clear it. I... Shailun... would probably like to take a look at these stones. Goddess, watch over you. We need to work on some logistics before we go. Chandras, sounds like Chandras. Chandras? I never miss a shot. Chandras looks far into the dense forest. Are you alright? Chandras slowly turns to face you. I appreciate your help. Everything that we have all been through. Please see it to that these stones are purified. Chandras takes a deep breath. Leave me now. I need to think of our next steps. On your mark. The sentinels stand ready. Goddess, watch over you. Hey, Chandras. What is it you ask? Down to you. I haven't worked with Chandras long, but it's unusual for her to act like that. It doesn't matter. While she deals with logistics, you and I should go ahead and find a way to cleanse these stones. Maybe Shailun knows what to do next. Ask Shailun about the cleansing of the stones. Keep your guard up. I should keep a Silas. Silius. All that you outlanders bring into the dream are war and fire. I'm only helping you because the sooner you leave, the sooner we progress. <laughs> Dream beneath the trees. 
you mean by help, mortal? Can you help us purify these stones? Find your own trail. My sister, Sayanthisa, knows all about rocks and stones. She will probably know what to do with them. I will head to the moon. I will head to the moon well. See you there, Alea. Answer the call of the wild. Sometimes I want to just lay in the grass and do nothing. Of course, that means that my work is going to pile up. Shinin's eyes wander from you to the surrounding area. I should go back to work. Wander where you will. Chandras is still not talking about the same. I am listening. On your mark. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go find them. Let's go find the lead. I am not allowed to use my mounts here, so let's go over here. <laughs> let's go find the lead. I've placed the stones where you have asked. Now what? Now you move out of the circle and I wait for Shandris. Shandris isn't coming, but a layer can help with the ritual. Shandras is not... I see. Alea, come speak to me once you're ready to begin the purification ritual. I like the new moon well. I mean, I guess moon wells do, may look a little different in the dream. Life is all around us. I understand that we need the help, but... Synthesa looks at Lily with no school revulsion. I sure hope that this General Chandras knows what she is doing. Heal and grow. These dryads didn't like me since we started working with them. This one is even giving me stink eye without the slight attempt at fighting it. The only one who treated me right was Chandras, which is why our last conversation hit a nerve. I may be looking too much into things. There is much to be done. Walk gently on the earth. Okay, let's start the ritual. Rest until Get the you vial by the moon well and use it on these stones in order. My voice will guide the spirits to freedom. Rise now, Leaf Spirit. You are free to roam the dream. You do actually pour the moon in the water, so it's nice to see. Though I'm way off. Rise now, Wolf Spirit. The moonlight will again shine upon you. Spirit Stone. What is this? This stone is damaged, cracked. I'm sorry, Leo, but if there was a spirit in the stone, it's no longer there. No longer there? Where is it then? Anywhere from a petal or a stone. I sense fear, pain, and great trauma in it. I will take great care of the feet of the spirit. Chandras will know what to do. Keep the vial of movement where you are going to need it. I think I missed one, but all right. I feel like I missed one. I missed the bear one just because someone else poured on there. But anyway, so Lillian, go back. Lillian, why don't you wait up for me, Lillian? Again with the. Let me talk to some. Dream beneath the trees. The churchill, the ritual, the churchill. The ritual is the same for all bound spirits. It warms my heart to see the spirits roam the dream once again. Find your own trail.
Answer the call yeah. of the wild. I live my life in the shadows. Oh, Shandros is gone. All right. My blade stays sharp. We'll have to deal with these stones. Shandros is off somewhere. Keep your guard up. I knew coming into this that Shandros likes to work alone. But letting us know where she's going to be would be nice. Not a great turn in our professional relationship. Keep her silence, won't speak to me. We should take a look around the camp. Maybe she left a note or something. Maybe in her mission log. Take a look and see if you can get anything out of Silas. I'll wait here in case she comes back. Find clues regarding Chandra's whereabouts. Do not whereabouts. linger. Walk gently she on the earth. Hey, me. Yeah, this is me. Oh, Chandra's is over here, and there is her notes. Chandra's mission journal. Most of the journal consists of dry mission briefings, but the last few pages seem rushed and hard to read. Why am I dwelling on this now? Why here? I hear battle shouts and screams of fear. I can smell the rivers of blood in the streets of Arhanam, my home, Arhanam. I feel the loneliness I felt after the Burning Legion took my family, before Taranda found me. Even then, I wanted... I wanted to fight, but Toronto forbade me. I did not listen. My arrows tasted blood for the first time that day. But Toronto was right. I was not ready. I was overjoyed when I found her sight again. I was captain for the moon then. The Felogs destroyed my home. I watched scenarios fall. How could I let it happen? A looming shadow crept into my mind. The writing becomes indecipherable. More and more demons came. I could not help anyone. We retreated. Someone left behind. In the end, the combined might of the Allied armies did not bring down our command. It was Malfuria. We won, but I felt weak. The cost was great. I watched Nordris the symbol of my people. The parchment is unfinished and bears the markings of a teardrop. So that harkens back to events from Warcraft 3. Uh, real-time strategy you can see the battle of mount hyjal is also in this game but um but yeah i mean you, you get to see a bit of it the fell orcs destroyed my home i watched that was uh grom grom did that if you go to Meshenville, um there's a whole area if you've done the earlier part if you've done the, if you've done any questing over there The area, Fallen Sky Lake, Fellfire Hill, all around there. Um, that where is where in the lore, I believe that is where, if not near or close to this, a lot takes place in this area. I have to look it up. It's been a while. Um, the scenario is falls. He's clearly doing okay now. He's giving you, he's giving you missions, so he's all right. But it was a huge blow. And it pretty much pulled it pulls the um, Kaldari out of uh, isolation. Um, because up until that point, they were kind of xenophobic. Um, and they really get involved with anything outside of their borders. Most of them. There are a few others spread about. All right. So, Nordrasil. There was nothing I could have done to stop the Naga from taking Feather Moon Isle, which, if you go to Feralos, you'll you'll see that part of it. I have rebuilt my home for what? There will be a time when the home will fall, and I will watch it take it from me all over again. Some day I will not be able to take it back. It will never be a safe place for me to call home. So, for the Moon Isle is uh, her stronghold. The Chandra's is a charge of. In Farless. It's still there. I remember Theramore fading into the distance as I led the Sentinels into Duskwalla Marsh. 
A few hours earlier, I know General Feathermoon was standing. I, now General Feathermoon, was standing with my battle sister, Jaina Proudmore, at the center of the town. It is gone now, all of it. The stench of battle haunts the ruins. I can smell it here, in the dream. Between these dense forests, it feels so real. Was there something I could have done? So, I freak. I know you get to see the momming at Theraport, and you get to see it from both sides, I believe. Um, I f think you really only get to see the aftermath. Like, from Horde's side, you get to see the attack. And Alliance, I believe, gets the aftermath. Um, however, um, events Chandras is referring to here are detailed in the... It's Christy Golden wrote the Jaina Proudmore novel, Tides of, um, Tides of Darkness? Something. It's got Tides. It's got Jaina. It's a Jaina Proudmore novel. novel. Those events are recalled in that one. Um, and Chandra says there. And survives. Kuli has... Is, it's a painful memory. Um... Taronda was the only mother I knew for, for 10,000 years. So, yeah, I mean, you know now that Chandra's is more than 10,000 years old if you didn't know before. But yeah. I thought I was losing a mother again. I pleaded with her to stop the hunt, but I was too late. I watched as she was taken by the Night, water, nor, night Warrior. Whatever hope I had shattered, I, I had was shattered by several partial and cross out attempts at, re, at writing Sylvanas' name fill this space. The Banshee Queen. I could not save her. I, could, I would have lost her if not for Ysera's intervention. I would have lost my mother again. Again, I was not enough. In Tyrande's rage, she attacked me. Tyrande, why could you not see me? And Loon herself had to intervene. And what could have I done? Nothing. So this refers to both um, BFA. Uh, where Tyrande takes on the power of the Night Warrior. Uh, she Basically, she goes, she's like, and what what are we going to do about this? And when, and you know what? And realizes, like, fine, Kaldari are on their own, again. Um, and she decides to invoke a rather the Night Warrior aspect of a loon. It's a very powerful, aggressive warrior aspect. Um, and she becomes consumed by it. And that's dealt, that is not dealt with until Shadowlands. The jewels of the flame burn everything. I have that sinking feeling in my chest, the same feeling I heard when Malfurion's call to defend Ashenvale reached my ears. What are you doing in Silithus? I asked myself. This will just end in tragedy again. Will this be another dark shore? I can smell the forest burning. We were not, no, I was ill prepared and led them all to their deaths. Catapults rained arcane fire on our ships. Infiltrators used the chaos to destroy the fleet. I heard the sounds of retreat. I smelled the fire between these trees is all around me. The handwriting becomes erratic. The smell of burning trees. I cannot get it out of my head. These druids tell you so. I can't do this anymore. So, um, something is definitely up with Chandra's, but something her wrestling with this is not unusual but something else is also I think impacting her as well I mean I've done this once before I, I know what's going on um but it's good to see that even at Chandra's level who is who has seen a lot that these have these past events in the last few years, more than the last few years, it goes all the way, goes back a ways, um, are, you know, weighing on her, affecting her.
Chandras is assigned to help us foil Rayla's Firewind's plans of turning this area into kindling. The other one, she was not part of the plan. Have you seen Chandras? Give us the information we need, but only hope. Give us. We need. Okay. I do not answer to like you. I do not time for this. Tell me where Chandra's went. Chandra's headed south from here. She seemed full of haste. See? That wasn't so hard, night, was it? I'm going to find Chandra's. Arlea, and you're coming with me. Cool. I'm happy to team up. And they don't have anything Dream to add. But. Now, if you go back here, can you pick it up? No. I know you can collect it at some point, I believe. But let's go find it. Oh. And I might stop pretending I haven't done this before, but I also don't want to spoil the thing. I'm not. I'm actually not dragon riding. I'm regular flying. Well, let's do that. Hasty tracks. These blueprints could be Chandra's. These tracks, light and swift, are heading west. Confusing tracks under the same. Follow the tracks. Come on, Lillian. Fresh tracks. Chandra's must be close. These tracks are heavier and slower than before. It seems like Chandra's is struggling with the thick mud. Lillian! She must be in that cave. I have a hunch of spirits there, too. We need to get her now. Yes, Lillian, but... Yo. <laughs> Wait up. Chandras, what's going on? How did you follow me, Forsaken? Leave my presence. This isn't you, Chandras. It's a spirit that's bonded to you. I can see their faces and hear their voices. Everything. It's like a wake nightmare. I never miss a shot. Why is she here? Why are you following me? Do you not understand? Leave me here with my grief. Consider it done. What is it you ask? I haven't known Shandra so long, but her behavior is out of line and out of character. I wonder. There is much to be done. Into the past. It's all making sense now. I believe the missing dream sphere bonded with her, like Siandisa said. It's making Chandra's relive traumatic moments from her life. It's not malicious, but the spirit and Chandra's are feeding off each other's fears. We have to bring her back to the camp. Shailun might be able to help her. Talk to her. I look like the enemy right now, but maybe she'll talk to you. Talk to Chandra's and help her back to camp. Do not linger. I am listening. Come with us. We will explain back at camp. Then why would I go back to camp with you or with her? I cannot bear to look at her now. I relive what the undead have done to us over and over. That is the dream spirit Lillian believes is making you relive memories. On your mark. A dream spirit. Listen, we will take you back to camp and Shailun will help you. I do not... What is happening? Anguish Dream Spirit. Dang, you're not nice, Dream Spirit. Okay. Yo. That was my dream spirit to kill. Alright. Spirit retreated. No, not again. You're by right, Chandras. We have to get you back to camp. 
I need a moment. Take all the moments you need. I'll stay. I will stay with her, Alea. Meet us back at camp. The sentinels stand ready. What is happening to me? Why me? Why here? I have to recollect. I have to recollect my thoughts. Goddess, watch over Chandra you. Chandra I have seen our share of battles, but this is of a different kind. I think she'll pull through, but we need to get. We need to get to Shailene. There is much to be done. It should be easy to reach the spirit now that Chandras is asleep. You can do it, Chandras. Fight it. I never miss Chandras a shot. is exhausting, even though she's still talking. Chandras is exhausting. She breathes slowly while whispering to herself in her sleep. Consider it done. You don't say anything different. Life is all don't around us. Different. We talked about Heal it. and grow. I live my life in the shadows. I thought that Chandras was venting her anger on me because I am forsaken. I thought now that we had finished the task, she was done with me. Wouldn't be the first time. But I'm glad I was wrong. I have come to have a great respect for her and her abilities. We have to help her. Keep your guard up. Alea, we need to work with Shilun and help her perform the purification ritual on Chandras. Shilun says she's only done it on objects before, not people. There is some risk involved. But I've come to know Chandras. She'd do the same for me. Talk to Shailun and follow her instructions. Help Shailun perform the separation ritual on Chandras. And so you get a drop of more, more rep uh, the journal. Um, plump dream sea, which is always useful, and flight sea. Uh, flight sea do not linger. Do you have anything to say? No, I still say the same thing. You don't like me. All right. Answer the call of the wild. We have to hurry if you want to help Chandras. I will explain what has to be done once you are ready. I am ready. Wonder where you will. I will need a handful of sleeping glory flowers and a bit of somnium bar. Gather those and I will have the moon water bowl ready when you apply your return. Walk gently on the earth. Well, I have performed this ritual on flora and fauna before. I have never tried it on well, anything more than a small animal. And that thought alone makes me doubt the ritual's effectiveness, but having Lillian here, watching her care for Chandras, maybe I was wrong about her kind. Maybe there is hope. Rest until you awaken. He doesn't change his mind though. The sentinels Chandras stand ready. Over. Goddess watch over you. I will help Chandras as best I can. That's the least I can do for another soldier. Keep your guard up. So now we, we have our uh Good old gather mission. The old gather mission. I have, I've, there's a chest here that I have yet to find. I've been over here twice now. It must be like up on a branch or something. Someone's gonna attack me over here. Okay, come on, attack me. You have an, what I need is over here, so. It's not too involved. It's fairly, fairly easy to gather for that one. Just need two of the bark and five of the uh, petals. And they're all over there. It's more for flavor. So. What is it you ask? Life is all around us. Okay, so now we got to use moon water ritual bowl. We're brewing. Find your own trail. Yeah. 
I am listening. Here, try and drink this remedy. Consider it done. Rise, spirit, like good Oshandra's friend of moon, and return to your home within the dream. Oh, that's more promising. The spirit hovers up and down before Lillian. Lillian nods with acceptance. Is it over? The ritual is over. Shandra will get better with time. But she needs someone to be there for her. Someone she can talk to. My blade stays sharp. I will help Shandra as best I can. It's the least I can do for the soldier. There is much to Thank be you, done. Thank you, for helping us with Rilis and the spirits with the spirit zones. I will take care of Shandra for now and help her back to Amirja Sosu. Keep your guard up. I'll stay and help Chandras. You? Why? Because I have also been through loss too. And I want her to know my people are not what they were. Then then I want to thank you for coming after me and apologize. The spirit caused all my pain. Past pain to surface. You did not deserve my arrow. I've heard worse. A word of advice. Well, hold on to that pain. Let it go. I've been living with these women's memories for eons. I didn't know a life without them. <laughs> Haunting my mind. Someone told me that we all have pieces of our past that haunt us. We can work towards a better future. That is wise. You are a good friend in me. Friend? No one's called me that in a while. Rest. We'll go to a midrassal when you're ready. Okay. This petty war of yours has ravaged our home. It will take many years to undo the damage. So he keep her so this doesn't change his tune. But Dream beneath the trees. Then she goes back to and talking grow. about slacking off. So yeah, um, In the internet and fandoms being what they are, I'm sure they'll come up with other ways to, uh, other layers to this friendship of Chandra's and Lillian. Um, but I think it's very intentional. Um, if anyone from the Forsaken was going to, uh, bridge the gap, it was going to be Lillian. Lillian has a, a very deep and rich history um, and storyline. Uh, and has always been one of my favorite characters. And I don't I can't say I like many on the Forsaken side. But Lillian has always been cool in my book. Uh, and Chandis has always been one of my favorite characters anyway. Now there are of course going to be faction purists who will have a problem with this. Um, but... I don't care. I think it's a good story. I think it's, this is a good moment. This is a... There are things more important than faction bitterness. And, and Lillian has never been... I mean, she's a rogue. <laughs> I have a soft spot for rogues. But still, I mean, she's always been a good sort. I look forward to Lillian having you know, having a uh, role in this. I was glad to see her in the Forsaken um, Heritage Armor quest and her play such a big role in that. So it was nice to see her. Any chance you get to you get to have uh, Lillian involved in Chandra's too? So I'm happy to see both of them. Very unexpected. Um. But uh, very well done. So yeah, and that, I believe, because I won't be doing anything else. Damn it, why won't you let me? That clears my map. So, for now, anyway. I'm not doing any seats. It's almost midnight. I've got work tomorrow.
there are little other things I could be doing, but I'm not. Um, we're just finishing up quests tonight, and I got some mail apparently, so. Leave that in my mailbox. Oh, someone got Sid. Someone but my Sid the Squid. Alright. So, book, book. Here's a muddy journal. That's the book that was uh, Chandra's stuff. If you don't believe me. It's the journal. Um, put this with the rest of our record. Um, let's see what we can sell. Burning flower. Well, all the things like this is never available to players. Well, it is now, apparently. Um, I'm getting a lot of things. Pickpocketing. Wild Leaf Dagger. Finds when equipped. I might actually throw this on another tomb. Send that to them. Um, Ash Pouch. Cleaning out my bags for now. I'll sort these later. And tomorrow I'm gonna work uh, on a couple well, other characters getting through the, the main quest line. But, you know, these side quests are, you know, yes, move through the main stuff to get through the storyline, what have you. But side quests are pretty important. So, hopefully, for a place. Oh, one day. Um, probably during Faded. But four to seven chapters, three more to come on Tuesday. Our Leia will be picking those up to take, do them on Tuesday. Why do I still have something in my mail? Oh, someone bought that. Cool. Put a lot of pets on the auction house that I duplicates of. So that is where I am going to call it tonight. Um... That was productive. I got all the side quests stuff later than I intended. But anyway, they're done. So, thank you for watching whenever you're watching, wherever you're watching, and whatever you're watching. Um, have a good evening. And see you soon. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow night, but it's going to be moving other characters along the main quest line. I want to get my druid in here to get some of the goodies. So that's the plan. But anyway, thank you for watching. I have to edit a lot of these last few days down, uh, which I plan to do. So at least pull highlights from them. This one that's five hours long. So anyway, <laughs> I don't want to think about that. I'm going to sleep. Have a good night.